four out of five dentists weren't precisely certain of the question being asked. Hi, Members I'm Patrick L. Bender, children's attorney at law. Do the other kids hate you? Do they pick you last in gym? Do they call you fatty, fatty, hamburger patty? Let's be honest, kids can be cruel. But thanks to new legal loopholes, you don't have to take it anymore. Just listen to one of my clients. Yeah, do you want to trade her bologna for my tuna? So I suit her good. I'll help you stand up for your rights with teachers, too. Mrs. Green was always calling on me in class, and I took her to court, and she was crying, and now she doesn't come to school anymore. Call me, Patrick L. Bender at 555-KIDS for a free estimate. That's 555-K-I-D-S. Remember, even though you can't spell litigious, you can still take the law into your own grubby little hands. Researchers will be revealing the true source of procrastination later this week, perhaps on Facebook or Twitter. Attention, attention, all staffers attending the adult ADHD health clinic must... Hey, what's going on over there? Honey, could you pass it? We have a live one, all set. Brought to you by the makers of Mama's Pride. Bread. Okay, you're ready on set. Okay. Player Go one, you failed to enter your John Hancock. You're gonna be Muffy. Because you seem slightly off. Ten seconds. Have fun, you. Can I get a gangster check? Six. Five. Hey, fade to black. Three. Vader is still Luke's father. Cookie Masterson here, and the winner of today's game wins this heavy box of porcelain figurines. Oh, stop! Playing alone, are we? Don't worry, I'm here. And today's wrong answer of the game is being brought to you by... Mr. Ted's Protective Horse Covers. Protect your horse from the harmful effects of sunlight, rain, and oxygen. Okay, let's get this show on the road. Let's begin with... Tycho Bra, hey! Based on the percentage of size difference, which two neighboring planets would best fit into the same giant bra? Venus and Earth, Jupiter and Saturn, Saturn and Uranus, or Uranus and Neptune? Close. Earth could fit into Venus's bra, but it would leave a huge wire line. Here's what a right answer looks like. There's less than a 5% difference between the size of Neptune and the size of Uranus, so they could fit pretty well into the same bra. But like I always say, if you're wearing a bra, what good is the telescope I have pointing directly at your house? I mean, the sky. This one's called Gandolphin the Grey. So, you know how all the incredibly long Lord of the Rings movies were shot in New Zealand? Well, considering which animal outnumbers humans 12 to 1 in New Zealand, which sequel would be easiest to cast? The Fellow Sheep of the Ring, The Two Cowers, Return of the King Cobra, or The Hogbit? <laughs> New Zealand has far more sheep than people. So it'd also be a sweet place to shoot a sequel to Silence of the Lambs. <laughs> Here's a good one. I see dead people. I'm testing a new drink from Seagram's called Dead Seagram's. It's the taste of the Dead Sea with a touch of pure grain alcohol and lime. What percentage of it is salt? About 1%, about 25%, about 60%, or about 85%. <laughs> That's just stupid. Want to see the right answer? The Dead Sea is about 25 to 30 percent salt. That's why it's dead. Nothing can live in that much salt. Which leads me to believe that this drink is totally safe to drink. Oh, God. Salt dehydrating me must take a drink. No! Ah! Must drink some other drink. Everybody quite drunk. Everybody quite drunk. And now, hop on up or up. If I went backstage at an opera house while the performers were warming up and said, Who here is a contralto? What would I most likely hear? Me, me, me. Me, me, me. Me, me, me. Or... <laughs> That's the range. Me, me, me. 
that a contralto sings in. It's the deepest of the female singing voices. Most women sing from their diaphragm. Contraltos sing from their vaginas. Apparently quite painful. Where's the vibe, girl? Rock my world, girl. Ooh, yeah. Say hello to... A rose by any other... And it's a dis or di I'm gonna read off seven names, and for each one, tell me if it's... A variety of rose, or a member of the Howard Stern Show's Whack Pack. If it's a rose, press the square button. If they're from Howard Stern, press your circle button. Each one right gets you 300 Baba Booies. Each one wrong cost you 300. And you've got 30 seconds. All right, let's get started. Blue Iris. Iris John. Big Black. Heather Honey, Whiskey Mac, Rambling Rector, Super Fairy. You're the king of no media. I was gonna include Eric the Midget, Dan the Farter, Crackhead Bob, and Ass Napkin Ed, but those sound more like types of carnations. That's all we got for round one. You'll want to try and earn some cash from now on. Remember, in round two, every question is worth double. And lest you forget, keep an eye out for the wrong answer of the game. It's still out there. Okay, let's see what's next. Here we have... Bite me. Hey, before I ask this next question, I have to have a quick snack. I'm feeling a little lightheaded. Hmm, let's see, something healthy. Ooh, bit of honey! Mmm, mmm, chewy, can't speak too well. Anyway, if I just took one bite out of my bit of honey candy bar, how many bits of candy will end up in my colon? Eight, 42, 100, or 100,000? A byte is a collection of bits that are processed by a computer. Each byte has eight bits. Can't swallow it. Mm. Ah. Mm. Help me, my gums are bleeding. Question seven. Here's one I like to call, What are you eating under there? So I saw an episode of RuPaul's Drag Racing, the reality show drag queen competition, and it got me thinking about, well, it got me thinking about a lot of things, but this in particular. Because they only make underwear for men, which brand of undergarments would be least useful to RuPaul? BBD, Hanes, Jockey, or Calvin Klein? It was begging to be picked. If a drag queen were going full out in the costume department, they'd have to look elsewhere for undies, cause BVD only makes underwear for men. RuPaul should take a lesson from what I do when I cross-dress. Go commando. Ride him, cowboy. And girl. And when you're not riding them, be sure to keep your ponies safe and warm with your new... Horse cover from Mr. Ted's Protective Horse Covers. There's only one way to keep your stallion safe from the elements, and that's to keep it fully covered when not in use. Mr. Ted's Protective Horse Covers. With Mr. Ted's, you'll win, place, and show off your horse. This wrong answer of the game comes with a bundle of cash worth $8,000. Congratulations. Lord, the chicken is picking out a mate. Guess I'll marry eight. It's time for Poo You. Hey, you know how Winnie the Pooh wears that red shirt? If Winnie the Pooh's red shirt were due to him being red-shirted in his college days, what would he have been prohibited from doing during his red shirt year? Attending a class on honey extraction, playing in an official game of poo sticks, having a beer with Tigger, or living in a dorm room with Piglet. Oh, bother. <laughs> Want to see the answer? In order to add a year of eligibility, a red-shirted student-athlete can attend classes and practices, but they can't play in any official games. 
Which is probably fine with Pooh. It was always impossible for him to wear a cup without any pants. Up next, how to spell super bad with 38 letters. If McLovin were a traditional Scottish surname, what would it most likely mean? Son of Lovin, Father of Lovin, From the Village of Lovin, or Pledge to the Army of Lovin? And from the County of Loser... Why didn't you pick this? Mick or Mac originally meant son of in Scottish. For example, at McDonald's, my favorite item is the Son of Nuggets. Hold me, never let me go. Take a good look at... My eyes! My eyes! Which eye color is the most common? The one from the Van Morrison song? The one from Frank Sinatra's nickname? The one from the saying about jealousy? Or the one from the Killian Murphy Rachel McAdams movie? Brown Eyed Girl is one of Morrison's most famous songs, and taking all different cultures into account, brown is the most common eye color worldwide. Someone once called my eyes brown, and I punched them right then and there. My eye color is actually chocolate sensation. <laughs> Step right up to the jack attack. When you see two clues that match, press the X button. 4,000 big ones if you're right, but say goodbye to 4,000 if you're wrong. And most importantly, remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. My baloney has a first and last name. Chicken Tetrazzini was named after a guy named Chicken. No, Tetrazzini, whatever. blow this dog whistle in celebration of your performance. Ready? Here it goes. That'll do it, folks. What's going on, Donnie? Hey, are you eagle to play another round? Are you in the market for a new used van? When you think fans, think fans, fan bands, fan lot. Hello, I'm Vance, Van Van, and I sell the sweetest vans in the city. They've got 8-track players, waterbeds, airbrush murals, beaded curtains. 
Hey, Vance, what's that weird burning smell? Never you mind that, kid. You'll understand when you're older. Hey, okay, my vans don't come with satellite radio and GPS and la-di-da, but they do have character, character. and carpeted Carpet walls. walls. So, when you think vans, think Vance Van Van's van lot. Conveniently located down by the old abandoned airport that's probably haunted. You know the one. And remember, if Vance Van Van's van lots are rocking, be sure to stop in and buy a van. From me, Vance Van Van. Monica, I have cherished every day I've spent with you. You are the love of my life. Will you marry me? Oh, Charles, of course. And what a unique ring. Is that a... Gallstone? Yes, it's mine. I wanted to give you something symbolic of my love for you, so I had the hardened excess bile that my gallbladder produced forged into your ring. How romantic. It's perfect. And you're perfect. I would have had a lot of gall to say no. On the contrary, love. On the contrary. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, though, that gallstone was one of the most painful things I've ever experienced. The You've Got Gall Gallstone Jewelers. When giving her a piece of your heart isn't enough. Hello, I'm Senator Bruce Stegmeyer. I'm hard on crime, and I approve this cartoon bonus sound. <laughs> Did you know that 12 cups of raw spinach has as much sodium as an order of french fries at McDonald's? Did you say as much sodium as french fries? And that 54 cups of spinach has just as many calories? As many calories as french fries? Makes you think twice about eating spinach, doesn't it? Yes. Spinach. Is it really strong to the finish? Vote no on Proposition 14H and keep spinach and other vegetables out of our schools. Oh, uh, thanks again for having me over, Scott. Oh, you're welcome, Marjorie. <laughs> um, so... Is your date night conversation a bore? Yes, yes it is. Please help. We have nothing to talk about. Then try Nigel the Chimney Sweep. He's a real adorable British street urchin who makes an excellent conversation piece. Oh, well, isn't he fabulous? All ragged and covered in soot. Oh, please, miss, help me. I have a family. They don't know where I am. Please help. <laughs> oh, I haven't the slightest what he's saying, but look at that adorable hat. And you, Scott. Well, you seem so... so nurturing. Thanks, Marjorie! Please, please, I miss me mom. Why am I dressed like this? Get your very own Nigel the Chimney Sweep today so he can start sweeping your loved ones into your heart. Help me. Or heart. <laughs>